Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Cannabis Journal Club, where we review and interpret United States cannabis patents and cannabis journals uh, and scientific journals, sorry, with concise overviews of complex scientific literature in an understandable and easy to consume manner to expose the knowledge hidden in the scientific literature. We do not claim any medical utility, and we definitely advise you to obtain your own copies of these public documents and share them with your doctors and family. So without further ado, I would love to introduce the man of the hour, Dr. David Allen. Welcome, Dr. Allen. Thank you, Bubble Man. Hi, I'm Dr. David Allen, and this is Budley Green. And today we're going to talk about uh, driving performance when you use cannabis. So is it safe to use cannabis and drive your car? And, and that's a complex question, actually. And it probably depends on a lot of things, especially your experience at using cannabis. So this article that we're going to review is an NIH study, National Institute of Health. So it's a government study. And you have to look it up, look it up yourself. The, the article is titled Sex Differences in the Effects of Marijuana on Simulated Driving Performance. And this is a, a great study. And it doesn't give us all the answers, but it gives us some answers. And so what they did is they took men and women and they uh, uh, put them on a driving simulator and they would have stuff run out in front of them like animals or cars or something. And they would test their reaction time and whether they were able to avoid a crash or not. And uh, they tested the same person before they used cannabis and then they had them use cannabis, and then they tested the same person afterwards. And in table two, um, if you expand table two, it, it clearly shows that uh, women had no difference in reaction time or crash avoidance or anything like that. And that's a remarkable thing in itself, that it didn't change anything at all for women, but in men, they had 1.1 second faster reaction time and three times better crash avoidance. So in this limited study, you're actually safer driving your car uh, when you're inebriated on cannabis uh, than you are when you're, when you're straight. So uh, there'll be a lot more studies before this is over, but Obviously, uh, there's not a lot of people crashing right now, and there's a whole lot of people using cannabis. So uh, I believe that you're probably a safer driver when you use cannabis. I would also add to this information, and I've mentioned this to people many times in the past, that you know, comparing to alcohol in particular, alcohol is releasing inhibition it's it's allowing you to make decisions that are not smart decisions and so all sorts of people most people 90 plus percent of people absolutely are of the belief it's almost like a dunning kruger effect when people drink alcohol they suddenly think oh i can totally drive no problem i'll be fine and that is really the danger it's not the danger that they're so impaired it's the danger that they don't know they're so impaired and they decide that right. they're able to drive on the flip side with cannabis most of the people i know if they get uncomfortably high the last thing they're going to do is drive they just won't they will not drive they will not say hey get give me the keys i'm driving if they're just high and they don't feel 100 percent comfortable the part of the brain that allows you to make a proper decision that isn't frozen by alcohol consumption allows you to say, I'm not going to drive right now. So I think that plays a big portion. Of course, I know, I've known people my entire life that have driven uh, under the effects of cannabis. I have done it myself. I will say the other part of asking, is it safe to drive under the influence of cannabis is the getting pulled over by the police part, which is definitely not safe <laughs> to do. Yeah. It's a little bit different than what we talked about in the study, but it definitely also has another effect. So once again, Dr. Allen, thank you so much for sharing this wonderful information on the Cannabis Journal Club. I have put the link to the patent or the study, sorry, in the description of this video. And uh, um, right, excellent I'm- Excellent points. I'm, yeah, excellent point. So I'll leave it to you to uh, to finish us off here. All right. Well, um, so 
cannabis is his own governor. If you're if you're smoking cannabis, and and like Marcus said, you don't want to drive if you're too high. So it, it prevents you from driving. And so, and it, it, if you're driving, it makes makes you drive slower, and you're more careful to try to avoid crashes and stuff. So, um, we hope uh, God blesses this chapter of Cannabis Journal Club and uh, Ja over evil. Live it. God over evil. Awesome. Peace out, everybody. Thank you.